Hi guys, just to give you a little update on what's and what I've been doing. Install this radio, goes the switch pros in place. Um, it rotates so it doesn't block the vents and stuff when you for heat or AC. So um, this is my Malagasy Sequoia. I'm gonna show you what I did with the lights. Um, so lights, it's yellow, kind of amber. You put it in bright, it turns white. You put it in yellow. Uh, when the bright light is on, the fog lights don't work. That, that's a the fog light was already on. Uh, so that's a fog light. It's a switch back. So when you turn it on and off, it changes colors back from yellow, from amber to white, and what and so forth. Um, then I add some yeah, uh, light bar. That's like about 10,000 lumens right there. And I have this light bar, it's supposed to be about 40,000 lumens right there. And you can change modes, of course. Then I added some um, more lights right like there. So it gets a little bit of peripherals, a little bit more. And then I added, if you look off to the side, yeah, there's a ditch lights. I have all of these mounted on the bumpers and I'll go around and show you all of this. And there's one more light before I go out and hit the rock lights. So, the rock lights, if you change colors and whatnot, you got your ditch lights right there, the regular lights, go around the car, SUV, this side is white, it can change the rainbow colors too, I have two modules, I gotta move them out of the way so there's too much inter wiring interference, so one side is is stuck on the rainbow and the other one is stuck on white but that's an easy fix and that's how much light is throwing that's over a hundred thousand movements out front um, just some light bars um, nothing is done in the back lights yet if I step back a little bit you see how it looks change the mode on one there change the mode right there the bright lights tap it again Come outside, see, that one changes like a purple. And it gets you a different rate, different modes for that. It's operated by the app. So, it's pretty good how that works. And you can see it a little better. Some of the other lights are a little purple. And just yes, turn it off. And all this can be used from your phone. You don't have to just use this. And this changes the modes. So I just changed the top bar to amber. And it goes through a bunch of different modes. Even the lights down below go through different modes ah, and so forth so see it could blink and it goes back to the white so that's the system I'm really happy with it and 
and once it's um, once I come back from Madagascar, I'll probably put it up for sale. And you just log in and stuff like that with the lights. And once I turn the car off or the vehicle off, all this goes off. But this, and this is you're seeing light through a 35 inch tint, so it's a lot, a little bit brighter from the outside. And I'll show you. Um, so if you look at it from the outside, and this is from behind the tent, it's definitely brighter from the outside. So this is what you'll be seeing when you're driving. This is what it looks like on the outside. It's fairly bright. See that's all the lights turning off. Ditch lights. Fog light. Uh, irregular light. Bright light. White light. Amber light. And that's everything off. So hopefully you all like this little short video on what I've done with the lights. The Switch Pro has some limitations so I'll do another video on that when I come back from Madagascar I might even do it while I'm there um, this Chinese radio is a 13.3 do not get the cusp if you're looking for a radio get a different brand but this thing can be detached because it's much easier to install the gut the cusp does not detach at all so it's a really shitty design same same manufacturers I think because they all do the same thing it's just it, impossible to install it so you're better off getting a different brand I could go into more details of that if you want when I come back I am heading out to uh, uh, Israel and then to Madagascar and be back in August sometime you'll if you have any questions ask it in the comments you'll have a good day